Hi everyone, so this is a video introduction to the free philosophy lessons as offered by me, Olga Terbenina from Holistic Healing Therapy and TFPI, the Forest Basin Institute. So in these videos we will cover certain concepts from Buddhist school of thought um, as well as some other um, ancient school of thoughts uh, including uh, yoga for example uh, where they show very practical techniques um, and help understanding mindfulness better um, and we're doing this a series with different topics um, once a month uh, we'll see how it goes but hopefully um, it will be possible to open a discussion after this video the idea for this videos which would be quite short is to just introduce you to some topics that i personally found extremely useful in my um, own uh, journey um, and i hope you will also find useful uh, they can be very practically applied uh, very well practically applied in your everyday life and help your understanding to go deeper into your mindfulness practice so um, I'm not an expert by any means in any of the subjects that I'm teaching. I am a qualified mindfulness and meditation teacher. I teach others mindfulness and meditation. I'm also a qualified yoga teacher. I'm also a BA graduate in philosophy. And one of my subjects that I studied was Indian philosophy. So, and myself, I was always exploring subjects of philosophy yoga ancient school of thoughts i was always interested in that and i have been practicing uh, meditation uh, consistently for about eight years i would say um, and i can say that even though i'm not an expert certain things certain concepts that i found in different schools of thoughts resonated well with me and i wanted to explore further um what they meant in terms of practical use because uh, it's all wonderful to know those concepts but if you can't actually use them in your day-to-day -day life I'm not sure how practically useful they are and I have um, read a few things done uh, quite a bit of research um, and even though I am developing all the time so with my practice mindfulness and meditation practice daily practice um, and also with my own research, as my understanding grows, I'm constantly doing different, um, you know, trainings, uh, also reading different materials to um, improve my understanding and knowledge. Um, I'm developing my understanding of certain concepts. So where it was a few years ago isn't where I am now, but I'm by no means a finished project. And um, why I wanted to create a series of these um, classes is to allow people to start thinking about some of the concepts which I personally found useful. So you don't have to agree with me on certain interpretations of certain concepts because they are just interpretations. Um, and I am very happy if we can start a discussion, uh, but just I ask everyone to be respectful of others' opinions um and just understand that it's all right to disagree sometimes as well but i hope that this uh concepts and this uh spur and discussion will also make you think about things a bit deeper and maybe certain things that you hear might not resonate with you you might not find particularly useful in your uh today's uh practice but other things might resonate more so i would say take uh, from these lessons what you find useful maybe explore further because it will the, in the process of exploration you will effectively learn so much more um, and things that you maybe just don't agree with that's totally fine um, and as i said i'm not an expert and i might be making mistakes when i try to explain things i always try to explain from a point of view of either experience or something that I have learned but my experience is not perfect of course and what I have learned as well might not be perfect so 
just take everything with a pinch of salt but i do hope that you enjoy these classes and i ho do hope that we can start a friendly discussion um and you find these discussions useful